Hi, Divine Feminine. This is a quick reading from Bella Katrina. It's a snapshot going into the year 2018. Happy New Year. And um, just following up from the wolf moon that we've just experienced. And I know we're heading into more, more um, astrological events and really have to um, open up to happiness and joy so I'm bringing you some healing just breathing just relaxing your chest and allowing your galactic light beings or angels of light to come and heal and reconstruct and reconfigure and um, fortify your energy field including your heart chakra so we've got page of wands on the bottom we're going to do a snapshot in the tarot Yes, the tarot and the sacred cards from Tony Carmine Salerno. So look, there's sort of a stop and start energy here, but it feels like this is good. The world, success, completion, overseas holidays or words from people that are overseas. If your twin is overseas, this is a connection. This is making a date to actually... Um, to meet or they are going overseas for work oh no there's a house move here i do see house move something's like been waiting on for a long time something we've been waiting on for a long time it's starting to move there's a change coming up because of the healing we've been through we've actually received healing on a deep level so this has been the um transformation the healing i get just healing from this you know the feminine waters and energy and aligning with the stars and knowing when you know the cycles the cycles of the moon when it's a full moon to let go what to let go of and do release ceremonies and then the new moon is to put in your order to the universe your wishes and so this is movement this is strong movement forward so this is also following um hunches following the just like quick decision but it feels right it's a hunch and because it's been consolidating consolidation energy and temperance energy it hasn't felt freeing like that and then here is meditation always going within to go to the next step so something happens here because this is divine feminine working very hard and this is also strength and the holding on. I'm just going to plow along. I'm just going to keep working. I'm just going to, you know, um, do what I know I can do. It's like I'll do the best I can and I'll do what I can. So I'll just do what I can. I'll do the best I can. I'm going to take it easy. This is taking it easy because there are changes afoot that are around me that swing in. It's like this is like the night here and the world. I'm just going to do one, two, three on these four of swords. So there's a wish card here. There's a wish and there's a message. This is an intuitive message. No, it's a text message. It's a conversation. Oh, there he is. It's a conversation with the divine masculine divine feminine about earthly things and wishes and coming up against what you have to come up against and how you're going to um, work together around this energy because that's really what you're here for is to fight the low vibrations so the emperor comes through here he is he's very organized down to earth methodical and trustworthy you know if he gives you his word it's his honor it's his honor and um he doesn't suffer fools at all so people wouldn't even put it over him but look he's kind because he's got the blue boots and queen of pentacles is here husbanding the money right giving care and attention to whatever the growth is from that i'm going to do one more the same one more the Queen of Wands. So there's passion and fire and inspiration and unconditional love. Yeah. 
and there's full on sacred energy. I get the Kundalini is going to awaken. Need to chant. Deva Pramal does a lot of chanting, but do chanting because it actually helps your Shushumna pathway clear. If you've done all your chakras and they're clear in your heart, the next step is the Shushumna. And that is um, healed through, because it gets damaged through trauma and grief and abuse. But you ha can heal it and strengthen it with chanting. So let's go to the sacred cards from Tony Carmine Salerno. And have a little snapshot on this. The energies are not too bad. There's very practical means forward. It's not a fantasy anymore. This is showing me practicality. This is going to move in a new direction. So the slower we can be, the more grounded we can be. You know, that's the Four of Swords. What's coming up for Divine Feminine? Because we've sort of learnt that. We need passion, don't we? That's good. Come rest in my embrace. Cast away your concerns. So this is like, mm, well, it's a mystery where it is. All we will be revealed in good time. Allow the mystery to unfold. It's happening now. So I've had to come through with this energy. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. This energy, this reading. So here. This is a flip. See the past, the passion's there. It's ignited. It's energetic, right? This is um, a frequency whether you know who your twin is or not. You might not even know who they are. You might think they're somebody and then they're somebody else. So just like don't worry about it because it's a mystery at the moment. <laughs> I mean, you know, some of us know because we ask so many questions. And here's the surrender to the union, surrender to the union, divine feminine, surrender, release, step back, don't initiate contact, it's like just receiving, right, it's like allowing, allowing divine masculine to give to you, to heal you, to look after you and to connect with you. Uh, because this is, this is the outcome, four and seven placement, you've got past, present, future, right, supports and challenges, it's actually um a turn on this is a turn on this it's like i talk about relationships being a game of tennis this is an ace but it's sexy <laughs> and it feels like time has stood still underneath it all but once we surrender it will move very quickly because this is the answer even though we can't see it at the moment it feels like there's a mystery and a challenge but just wait only time will tell sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one because there's abundance of love is coming your way if you allow it so surrender to the mystery and the enchantment and let the love story unfold. Sit back and open your heart and release all unforgiveness because this is your turn to move forward fearlessly with an open heart. So we just ask the angels to help open our hearts to a level we've never experienced before, knowing that we're safe and comfortable with this. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So thank you very much for your time and your attention. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I will connect with you in my private practice doing your Twin Flame Reiki Soul Session Six Packs or Learning Reiki to Master Level. Or if you haven't had your Shabam yet, you get a free upgrade on your first reading with me. So have a look at that, ReikiByBella.com. And I'll connect there or in the comment sections and just keep it relative to the reading and any insights or questions because I love connecting there. We're creating a crystal grid of a light. Know you have sacred frequency codes that the enemy does not want to for you to activate them at this high vibration, but it's time. And remember, it's always darkest before dawn. I love you and the, sh the sun is about to shine because it's been quite dark. You're not alone. We're in this together and connect soon. Thanks for watching. May God watch over you and your families and open your hearts to union with our twin flames. Thanks. Bye for now.